My name is Sean Collier and I'm the creator of the My Mail Crypt for Gmail extension. Today I'm going to provide you with a quick rundown of how to get started using my extension to encrypt your Gmail using the OpenPGP standard. Our first step is to locate the extension in the Chrome Web Store. In this case, I'm starting at my blog post covering the download. In the Chrome Web Store, we can see some details and screenshots for the extension. To install, we go ahead and click the Add to Chrome button. This will create a security prompt asking us to trust the extension on the Gmail websites. To continue, we click Install. The extension should install quickly. Now we have to configure it. We click on the wrench in the upper right hand corner. We proceed to select Tools and then Extensions. This takes us to a page with information about all of our installed extensions. We find the My Mail Crypt for Gmail extension and click the Options link. This is the Options page for My Mail Crypt for Gmail. Before you continue, please browse through the various links on this page. We're going to generate a key so we can get started sending encrypted mail. Click the My Keys link at the top. Click Generate a New Key. Fill in your information. Password is optional, but recommended. Click Submit. This may take a few seconds. The page will reload with our newly created key. It is important to make a backup of the keys you have created. You can do this by clicking the Show Key link in My Keys and Friends Keys areas. We can now proceed to Gmail. In our Gmail window, we are going to compose a letter to ourselves. We write the letter as usual. When we are ready to encrypt, we can use the Encrypt button over here. If we click the arrow next to the button, we can see some options. But we're going to start by using the default Encrypt and Sign button. We see the encrypted message has shown up. We send the mail as usual. We see the message is in our inbox. Let's decrypt it. With the mail open, we again fill out our password in this box and click the Decrypt option. We see our test message again. I hope this quick introduction was helpful. Please visit prometheusx.net for the most up-to-date information. Thank you.